morning everybody this is a phenomenally exciting live we are both on instagram and facebook and today is a day i think a lot of you have been waiting for and are excited by so good morning to everyone in the western hemisphere good evening to everyone in the eastern hemisphere we have today josh wood in the bathroom and josh is I think the best hair colorist in England because not to see do just an amazingly glitzy clientele, but far more importantly, he understands real women. And I find so many people in this industry, they deal all their life with such frivolity and gorgeousness and models that those women like us really thinking, what on earth do we do? Is there somebody out there for us? And Josh is that man. He has spent, I've known him, I just realized now for about 30 years, and he did also do my hair at one stage. Well, we'll talk about that later. But today, what we're talking about is, do you have the right hair color for your eyes and skin tone? That's a really big question we always ask ourselves. Oh, and sorry, we go live in the bathroom. So Lulu is in the bathtub. And the next thing is, Shasha is in the bathroom too with us, and we have a few models. So once you know which your hair color is, what is the right makeup shade for you? And if you have the wrong hair color for your skin and eyes, how much does that affect your makeup choices? So these are all topics, I think, close to our own heart and a great way to start a Sunday morning if you're lying in bed with your first little hot drink of the day. So uh, without further ado, let me introduce Josh Wood. Yes! Hey, hey, darling. Thank you so much for having me in your bathroom. <laughs> Josh Wood is somebody you might work out of Barnsley Boy. Up uh, north. Up north. And for those of you who are following from the States, you might also have come across Josh because he's doing a lot of things in America. He just came back from a huge hairdressing conference in Vegas where he was the star key attraction. But um, today, Josh, this is a conversation which I think, come and stand there so we're more comfy with each other, perfect, which is about women who sit in your chair. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you first of all, how many women have sat in your chair and you thought, my God, that color is so wrong. And how quickly do you know which is the right color? Well, I think let me just frame it, Trini, because the truth of the matter is, I think it's really hard for people to see themselves objectively. Very true. Most of the people that I'm colouring are generally... Tell these ladies, yes. But most, most people are colouring hair to cover grey hair. Um, and, and I think if you don't get the underlying tone of the colour right, nothing fits. Nothing fits the makeup. Skin tone it, looks yeah. weird. I mean, I'm sure most people have had a hair disaster. Yes, we've all. Dare I say it? I know you have. Yes, I've had I think many. I've rescued hair you from a couple <laughs> of hair disasters. <laughs> I think he has. Yes. And I think when you when you really get a hair colour that really suits you, um, and that's not about how light or dark you are, or this, whether you're brunette or blonde. That's about the underlying cool or warm tone. Yeah. There are really only three territories. Um, for tonal value in hair colour, warm, neutral and cool. Which it is it can be that us. simple. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's when Shasha's going to come in later and talk a lot about makeup, but what I think where we sit together so well, because Josh has a brand, I use this Everything Hair Mask, as you all know, and I love it, but he has this very clever two things, which we're going to talk about. I want to preempt first, before we go uh -huh. right into the conversation, Charlotte's coming in a second, of... Um, we're going to try and answer questions through this live, but if you have a question, which is what heck shade should I have? It's very difficult for Josh to tell you looking at a type screen, but on joshuacolor.com, there is match my shade and it's a clever device and you put in your hair, uh, your eye colour and your skin tone. And you upload a photograph you up so we can see you. Okay, that's the most key thing. You upload a photo and that's being humanly analysed or yeah. it's being humanly analysed to tell you which is your best shade. And then you can go on there and actually choose phenomenal kits to do at home colour in the first way that I've believed is anything, any way successful and not so damaging to the hair. And um, I've even done it touching up my roots. We'll go into all those details later, but that's just for ladies who are saying, please tell me, but we will be answering lots of questions as well. So where we were, um, Shasha's not coming in a second. Yes, now. So let me just show you okay, like, let's what start we, with like, me. like what yeah. we do to really identify in an extreme way yes. what suits you and what doesn't suit you. Okay. But when I put this colour against your skin tone, Trini, don't scream and run out of the bathroom. I won't. Let me just let me just put my natural hair just back so it's not involved in this equation. Okay. So first of all, we know because we know each other so yeah. well yeah. that you're just no good in warm or orange. Yeah. Yeah. Where you are where you are better. 
is in this kind of cooler world. Like immediately your your eye colour is starting to pop and, yeah. and, and look very soft. Here, this starts to bring out any kind of redness or pinky turns that you have in your skin. Yeah. So That's what, such a good analysis. When, can I just say I love that colour again? Can I just go back to that colour? Um, was that the one? That's the, that's one. the one. But that's nearly a grey. But it's kind of almost purpley grey. Yeah. It's if but I it's very a, flattering. It's just I mean I, I just don't know. Don't get I, any ideas. I, but it's I not for you. And it's also what I'm wearing it with. But that if if you see when you talk about going grey, we're going to have a conversation in about 15 minutes mm -hmm. about going grey, but we're not getting there yet. But I just see what you mean. Cool suits me, warm, warm doesn't and suit it kills me. my skin and takes yeah. away the best of my own colour. Yeah. But then when you take that down into like a more believable hair colour, yeah, that was really extreme. Weeks. Yeah. Let's just okay. put this oh on. Oh my you. god, do you know what I guess I never wait. Okay. All Hold right. the front. Yeah, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. There we go. Okay. And we're gonna do different other ladies. Just shut just bring it down. Just bring there it down. Go. Just bring it down. Okay. So it's quite hard to see this like, but that's very orangey on your skin tone. Oh, I see that. Yes, I see that. I think you've had this colour. I think <laughs> I've had this colour. And I remember whenever I have this colour, and whenever I have it, somehow somebody hasn't put on a toner, my hair has a tendency to go this colour. And I always call them up to go, I'm too red. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, with this, for, for colour cosmetics, for makeup, you wouldn't be able to wear much colour on your skin. Because there's so much colour here. In my hair. Some, like if you were to wear a, a, a bronzy browny lip, it would just it, it would, look yellowy. Yeah, it, it, look, look it, yeah. it just wouldn't yeah. look good on your skin. Yeah, that, that wouldn't work. So, okay. that, so that's that one. Okay, yes. And then this one mm -hmm. that's a little bit cooler. It's a little bit cooler even than my hair tone. Yeah, it's cooler than your hair tone. But immediately you see those kind of steely, beautiful, pale eyes. And the fact that your skin tone starts to kind of look a little recessive. It doesn't, you're not looking at like maybe where you look a little tired or Yeah, it or takes pinkish. out those bits. It kind of neutralizes the overall tone yeah. because that's very flattering on your skin tone. Yeah, I feel Susie Bickish in this. And yes. my, my, oddly, it's a bit my, too dark It's you, a bit but... too dark because my hair feels lighter and I think, it's the balance as well when you get to a certain age, Josh, that if we have a lot of grey and we go too dark, mm -hmm. it's such a high maintenance program. I mine yeah. is as a brunette, but as a brown hair, well, my eyes look so brightly blue. Oh. Yeah. Um, it does, it's a, an incredibly yeah. tough maintenance work. But there's a lot of women watching who also aren't going grey, Josh, but just want to know the right hair colour too. Yeah. So that's just good for them to go match my colour and they can see that because your at home kits, are they just about covering grey? Uh, we only, I, I'm a firm believer that we can cover grey hair really successfully at home. Yeah. And uh, you know, in between, even in between salon appointments, yeah. you can touch up. If you want to go blonde, balayage, highlights, you need a professional. Okay. It, you know, you, it, it's about skill yeah. at the end of the day. I mean, p covering roots is pretty easy. Yeah. But when you're trying to get into kind of highlighting your own hair, it's a bit complicated. Yeah, it's so true. Um, Should I, we take that off? Well, I quite like it. But no, let's, <laughs> no, I really like it, actually. Okay, take it off. Yes, take it off. All right. Yes. Any other hair colour here to look at? What were these two about? Well, these, these are or just are we two going to use these other ladies? Well, we are, but we can show on yeah. you as well. I mean, these yeah. are just two different browns. These are a little bit lighter. But again, it's that idea of something that's warm. Yeah. And then something that's cool. Yeah. I mean, immediately you can see straight away that you are just so much better in cool than yeah. you are in warm. Yeah. And these are things that women could even, I mean, the great thing is you can go on to Joshua, if you just joined ladies, you can go on to uh, joshuacolor.com and go on to match my shade because I love, I love a bit of technology. We have match to me, you have match yeah. my shade. I love the fact that online you can do something where you can get a result. So yeah. thus you get the makeup with you, you get somebody looking at your photograph, you upload a photograph. Love it. Now, I want to introduce Shasha first yeah. and then we're going to introduce our first model. Um, so... Let's introduce come Shasha. In. Yes, come, come on Shasha. in. Come on in, Shasha. Get moody ready for after. Yeah. Okay. So, so Shasha, yeah. we're just having a third party conversation Hi, here. Right. Come and sit, sh sh um, Shasha. You stand there. Josh can be in the middle of us because Shasha, we have spent life, lifetimes mm -hmm. having women in the bathroom because when we started Trini London, you're not on camera, my little angel. Oh, don't mind. But yeah, down there. there. When we started Trini London, it was about getting all those women in the bathroom and looking at their skin, hair, and eye. Mm -hmm. And when you hear everything Josh says, yeah. um, and we look at women who might not have the right hair colour, because yeah. that is the thing as well, people doing their metronomine might not have the best, but it still works 
because we're going to do the analysis based on your hair color. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I just want to get that clear. Okay. So today is about Shasha. What Shasha's going to do is say hello, Shasha. Look, look, lots of hearts and love. Hi. Um, is to take the first model. So we're going to get the first model in, and then we're going to look at her because she might be like, we're going to do a blonde. Should we do a blonde first? Yeah. We'll let's do Charlotte get our, first. Let's get Charlotte in, Two and Charlotte. we're going to just I'll go Charlotte. through. Can I get my little trade Muji? You just get your little trade Muji. It's very complicated, and we will be answering questions, ladies. Keep those questions. Are you writing some down? Are there questions coming up? Yep. There are. Trini Charlotte's here. Hello. Charlotte, Carl in the bathroom. This is a busy bathroom. Charlotte, you um, are a client of Joshua or a client of Co uh, Joshua Colour at home? Uh, I'm a client both. of both. You're a client of both, both. fantastic. Right. All right, so if we analyse, I'm going to get off camera so there's room for both of you. Okay, I'll just stand in the background. So, Shasha, you come here, my angel. Oh, okay, yes, excellent. And, and, and you go in the middle. We just got to rearrange it because it's a tiny room. And so I think what we're looking at is. How did you decide which is the best blonde for um, Charlotte? Because that's the hardest thing, isn't it? Well, I think, I mean, it's fair to say, I'm, I'm, Charlotte, I'm, I hope you don't mind me saying, but your hair was pretty yellowy orangey before we yes, used uh, the new Shade Shot. Yes. Shade Shot Plus. And with Charlotte, very pale eyes, quite pale skin. Anything in grey on Charlotte or cool. I just drains her. Now, interesting, because you've got similar eye colours. Yeah, so, yeah, but how different. Yeah, and how skin different. tone. I mean, yeah. Shasha, if you look at our skin tone, mm -hmm. just do a quick match to me on both of us. Charlotte is uh, peaches and cream, but almost a pale olive-ish peaches and cream. Yeah. She yeah. has that oliviness. More yellow in her skin. She wears a Zandy, blue eyes, and I've, I've called it dirty warm blonde hair, because to me, it's enough to be dirty. <laughs> on, on ours, it would be dirty warm blonde. I'm Rosie Olive with Rosie a Olive, blue eye, brunette hair brunette. at the moment, it would say. Yeah, exactly. Okay, just great. Just step in again. Just yeah. So, yeah. Just, look. Yeah. so that for you, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. That for Charlotte, not okay. gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. It, makes and, and, it makes her skin more yellow yeah. too. So, yeah. so what we did, yeah. we used a, a champagne uh, blonde Shade Shop Plus. Put it up to the camera so you can see. So if you feel you're like Charlotte, ladies, which is that what Charlotte's describing, that sort of olivey skin with a bit of a yellow hint, yeah? Yeah. And the blue eye. And then we also, when we're doing consultations, we use these. Oh my God! Wow. Show us. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. I love this. Because technique. again, what does it do? a blue against Charlotte's face, you're getting reflection there, which is yeah. quite hard but to see. You, no, you no, you did it. It did it. Just, it did it. just have it an angle. That's it. Yeah, have it. An and I mean, again, it. rather extreme. Go closer up, Charlotte, to the camera a bit there. That's great. But Charlotte's much better in warm than she is in cool on her skin tone. It's tr yeah. Hang on. Let's see. Okay, that's interesting. So, you so we use these when we're training hairdressers, but do you? what we've realised is it's a really good example to show yeah. um, clients what they're well, like. It's, it's, it, we're trying to simplify it, you know, cool and warm. There are a thousand million different skin tones and hair colours, but really there are the three camps. And if you stick to something that is um, within your colour world, so for Charlotte, something that gives her hair this, this kind of... Um, this kind of champagne softness. I really think that w what you're actually getting is something, again, it, it looks a bit more youthful. Yeah. I think when you yes. when your hair was looking a bit orange and a bit yellow and a bit brassy, it kind of drains you. It takes all the color away from you. What this does is complement the skin tone. Yeah, because I think I've seen, I mean, Charlotte and I have both seen quite a few women where exactly. it merges into your skin so much that your skin Look, you look well, you very become one thing, tired. you yeah. become one tone, yeah. yes. And yeah. then it's really hard to let's say you wanted to put a bright lip on or colors, it's really weird because all you see is that one bright color because yeah. you, you've become Everything such yeah. just, everything's yeah, faded no, away. Mm. So, Shasha, with Charlotte, Shasha, Charlotte, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what is the right when, when a woman is looking at herself and she's maybe finally got to Josh Wood's color, yeah. <laughs> champagne blonde? What are you going to do to her today to bring out her features? What are the main things you look at when you look at her skin, Erin? When I look at skin, hair and eye and any colour makeup that I'm going to choose, it's always, it has to sit in the frame of yeah. the hair with the skin yeah. in a tonal, tonally comfortable way. Yeah. Anything, I, I did quick fixes in there. If you could put it up next to your face. If you've got a blush, hold yeah. it up there and you see if it's going to sit almost foreign mm -hmm. because okay. then it will be screaming alien, out from it? your face yeah. that it just won't have that natural look, which to me makeup's supposed to look like so I'm just going to yes. do that with yes. a couple of blush now so I've got I, some here you've got some perfect because I was going to do VB and uh, wrong and something right I know I've done some? I've got right ones here fantastic so. have you got wrong there 
I've got wrong. Yeah, great. Okay. Okay. So, so looking up, Charlotte. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We went with the Munchkin. For me, would sit wrong with mm -hmm. you. Too cool. Too cool and too heavy as yeah. well. I suppose because that's. But the Lady J would sit like your convincing natural, and yeah. on your mouth because it's a lip to cheek. Mm. So it's like. And what's fascinating you when you've got that one, that's wrong. It's not dissimilar to that that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's that coolness. It's oh, that kind of purpley, yeah. moly, yeah. dead. Yeah. This is like, this is like it's a really fusion of... It's like a science. Yes. No, but this is like, th there's no other brands in hair or makeup that have this but bloody conversation. I love that we picked that next door yeah. without knowing yeah. what you had yeah. in here to hold <laughs> up as wrong. Okay, so Shasha, what are you going to do with Charlotte in, in the next few minutes? We're going to do a uh, neutral, easy... Semi smoke but not smoky eye. Yeah. Um, show two colour options. I am going to do the Lady Joe because I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Great. Um, and then I'll probably put on a nudish, light, easy lip, but I'll hold up some options for the wrong bright lip. Fantastic. Off you go. You've got uh, eight Shasha. minutes, Shasha. Because <laughs> we've got a lot to chat. And what we'll do now is come in here, darling, with your, because Josh's assistant is here. And it's time for the first set of questions. So remember, if you've just joined us and you want to know what's the best hair colour for you, the best way you can do that is you upload a picture to joshwoodcolour.com and you go on to Match My Shade and you will find or it's like having Josh in the bloody room with you, which is what we love. And that's how, if you do Trini London, you go on to Match to Me, it's like being in the room with Shasha and I. So, first question, we're gonna have from Lulu or from? Paul. Paul, okay. All right, Lulu? Yes, yes. you start off. Um, Trini, would you ever dye your own hair? And Josh, are there any home dyeing products that you would recommend? Okay, my hair is totally dyed. I, I think that if I, I saw Josh on Friday and there was probably in the front, I am, 100% grey, and mm. I'm a really shitty grey. I'm like that horrible, we've discussed this, I'm that foxy shade. Yeah, and at the back, like, uh, yeah, not, not so much, not so much, not, grey so at the much back. not so much. I've only just had it done yesterday, so it's all there. So I do dye my hair, and I've made many mistakes. Josh will um, know that because he's rectified a few of them over the years. I've been way too warm, and I've been way too blonde, so yeah. that you literally can't tell the difference between my skin. Yeah. And sometimes, this is a mistake, I think we've got to. Look at the reasons why women sometimes make the mistake with hair colour. And I can just talk from my part. But I think people be, get lost. They get lost. Their I mean, best if friend. If you can get lost. I know. But their, you know. their best friend. Like people yeah. go into my salon and say, can I have Trini's hair colour? Yeah. So the colourist might have to say, no. Yeah. But you can have the colour that suits yeah. you. Yeah. But I think that's reason. Yes. Okay. And yes, I do have um, a home hair colour. This, this would be the one. The Trini. Oh, that's good. Show the one I'd for me. I'd probably match it with a, a, a smoky brunette, mm -hmm. just to kind of kill any warmth. Um, and that's available at joshwoodcolour.com or at Boots now, if in the I, UK. Now, if somebody did this and they mm -hmm. had blonde hair... They wouldn't do that. Okay, so if somebody has my colour hair, mm -hmm. but they want to cover the grey, mm -hmm. that's, that's it. Your that's your combination. I've taken these a whole night with me, ladies, let me just tell you. I've, especially this booster shot thing, which is so clever, and I mix it. Um, in my uh, everything mask. Yeah, it's just excellent. Okay, next question. Um, people are dying to know how do you know whether you're warm toned or cool toned? Okay, this is the crucial yeah. thing. It's it's we've got to talk about the combination here mm -hmm. because I think that every eye colour can be a cool or warm eye. Yeah. So let's just go through eyes and say that you could have a blue eye like mine, which is heading for cool. But if it was the sort of um, if it was that really very cool is when it's a very dark blue around the iris and there's a clarity about the blue then you are definitely always going to be cool because mm -hmm. that's like what we call the scandi eye mm -hmm. in my world if you have that sort of um bluey greeny but with warmth in the green you could be heading to warm yeah hazel eyes are definitely like sitting mine. always in warm but you've got cool hair yeah. and cool skin so you're that to me a yeah. neutral um and if you've got a a sort of brown eye, you can have a rich brown eye, which feels like just, you know, I know it sounds gross, I'm going to say poo on a good day. And then you can have that very cool brown eye, mm -hmm. which has no warmth in it whatsoever. So, so eyes definitely it's easy. And I think skin tone, lots of people might say, I, if you flush with, um, if you flush you know, on your cheeks and on your neck, it doesn't mean you're warm toned no. because you could have a very cool root and you can have a, um, a coolness to your eye and it'd be your cool tone. But I think those yellow undertones are important, mm -hmm. aren't they? So what's your That's thoughts on it? I mean, I, I mean, 
it, it's not dissimilar with hair, but um, really to, to, to try to simplify it. Most people say to me, oh my God, I've been colouring my hair for such a long time. I don't know what's the right colour for me. It goes to orange. It yeah. goes... Generally, most people do know. Like, you know that you aren't going to suit a dark plum lipstick. Yeah. Or a bright fuchsia lipstick. It, what, well, what, yeah, I, I will if I have the right makeup on. I can. But what, what I'm trying naturally. to say, just to generalise, yeah. most people are wearing makeup or clothes that suit them. Well, I, I don't know if I agree well, with that, but, but I think that... Or, or they, 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 if it doesn't suit them, they don't feel comfortable with it. Yeah, what I'm trying yeah. to say is, most people know more than they really think they, okay, they know. Okay, I agree with you on that, but totally, you yes. Know, so, yes. in theory, hair, it is more challenging than colour cosmetics, because there isn't the, you know, that you can't walk into a store or into a, you know, find out what hair colour you are and what suits you. Yeah. You can at joshwoodcolour.com. Um... But there isn't the conversation like there is in colour cosmetics. And that's why, in general, I think most of the time it's good to get expert advice. Yeah. And going onto your site, you can do that. So yeah, I think or, or going into navigate. a salon or yeah. doing whatever you're doing. Like, I, I mean, for me, it can, can get... I, yeah, but can I just think about going into your salon? Because this is where I'm ruthless. There's many women, and you, I, I know you're out there, and they go and they sit. And between their colourist and them, they become a bit lazy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So there, there's a, not I lazy, but there's a habit going on. And it could be... I can be lazy too. Yeah, <laughs> we can all be lazy, but it could be you're sitting in the chair and you're not challenging mm -hmm. where you are because I don't think we change from cool to warm, but I think over the years our face changes. Yeah. And as a result, we really need to monitor, can I get away with that depth of colour? Mm -hmm. You know, that severity of colour. Mm -hmm. That's about, we want to sort of soften the face. So mm -hmm. I think these are things to think about as well. Yeah. Um, and whenever I do a consultation you know, on a client, I, you know, we do tear sheets, we pull things out of magazines, like in the olden days. I do a pile of things that are good yeah. and a pile of things that aren't good. That's great. Because I think it's really important, like, like you were saying then about, uh, about Charlotte's eye, yeah. you've got to show what does work yeah. and what doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, and you know, you know, work with that client to really unlock the best hair colour for her yeah. or him. Yes, exactly. And I, and a final thing I'd say on it is that um, how we discuss a colour, because there's many times I've been to someone I say I'm too green or I say I'm too orange, but the way I'm describing that hair, we can have a bit of hair dysmorphia in colour. Yes. So I think to bring in a magazine and say this to me is this colour, mm -hmm. gives a translation well, between I you quite and the often, hairdresser. So when somebody says, I want to be blonde, yeah. I say, show me your blonde. And nine yeah. times out of the ten, it's not blonde. It's not blonde. It's exactly. kind of like a soft, it's... fawny, pale, yeah. pale brown. Yeah. Yeah. It's not blonde. So it's just about the translation dictionary. Totally. So we're all on the same scholarship. Yeah. Okay, next question. Um, great oh. advice on colours, but what would you recommend for middle-aged hair loss? Okay, middle-aged hair loss, I'm going to talk very briefly about Josh because Shabir, who comes in the bathroom, and we do a thing on really healthy hair, and a part of that is taking biotin, taking superior mm -hmm. hair, taking a wonderful something called ionosin, ionosel, and I took them for eight weeks, and I've really noticed, and many of you might remember I used to wear hair pieces, I don't anymore, this is all my hair, and occasionally, weirdly, I microneedle yeah. where I've got a little bit of hair loss, and that does help stimulate the follicle. Don't do it too hard or you'll damage the follicle. But it's a mixture of your diet too, I think. Yeah. But but just, you know, when you see healthy, luscious hair, can be genes. Yes. But if you see healthy, luscious hair on a woman that you will feel wouldn't have it, what's your general thing from having so many women sitting in your chair that they say they're doing? Well, let's, let me just frame this as a question as well, because hair loss is a major problem for a lot of people. Yeah. And unfortunately, as we age, we lose hair. As yeah. we lose elasticity in the skin, yeah. you, you are going to get shedding. You know, all, all the products that you said, I would recommend. You know, a really simple thing that you can do is a really, really deep scalp massage. Is that really helpful? Yeah, because you get the blood circulation flowing to the scalp yep. and it's, it enriches the root. Like brushing your hair hundred totally. times a day is about that. But, you know, hair loss is a problem. Um, it's something that, you know, really needs addressing. Mm. For me, with hair colour... I only ever want to, you know, my formulations are conditioning while they're colouring because I think yeah. really great colour only looks really great if it's in really good condition. So true. If your hair looks fried, it doesn't matter what colour so it true. is. It's bad so hair. Yeah. So yeah, hair loss, huge problem. There are solutions out there. Don't panic. You're not going bald. 
you know, there are cycles of shedding um, yes. that we all go through, yeah. um, it, you know, j just the nature of, of hair growing and, and um, falling out and then um, coming back again. But yeah, I mean, I see a lot of people and my heart goes out to them yeah. because I think thinning hair is a real yeah. challenge. Can I say another quick trick on, if we just bring into this, because there might be questions as well, receding hair. So mm -hmm. a trick I found, and I do it on a lot of women this morning, because I think that area is the area that women can recede through hormonal change yeah. here. And I've actually got growth now from mm -hmm. there, from my supplements. But what I tend to do is if I've had a week or two and my grey's coming through or just I'm feeling it, I do take your touch-up yeah, colour yeah, thing, but brush. I'll just kind of cover that with some colour. And then you don't, because it has a depth here, you don't feel the thinness so much. Yeah. yeah and especially all, all, on an Afro hair too. Also, the, the, the yeah. thing is, it's really interesting that you do. I mean, we, we have a, 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 a root concealer spray and the blending brush that are both temporary colours. You can just put them on. Okay. But on hairlines... Yes. It's really important to keep the, the colour a little bit lighter. Yeah. Because the darker you make the hair, it looks um, extreme against the skin yes, tone. Yes, that's true. Can I just say, do you still make this? Because I love I it. I do. That's okay. this. dry shampoo. This. 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 <laughs> okay. I love, I mean, I love all of these products, but um, I like the fact that it's going to go in and just give you colour and it's a dry shampoo and it's a good bloody shade. Lots of brands do this because I can't be brand centric. So Rita Hazan does it out of New York. Yeah. Um, which I think is the only other one I rate with yours. Josh Wood, uh, 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 what is it Colour Wow does it, but it's a powder yeah. and I love it, but sometimes I get it in my fingers. But that's the kind of thing you need. Okay, next question. Um, people would actually love to see how you actually use it and apply it. Um, well, I mean, I've just had my colour done, but... <laughs> But okay, do it where you oh, see. Oh no, we can show on, on when, when Manel comes, we can we'll show, show on Manel. We'll show on Manel, perfect, okay, yes. Amazing. Yeah, um, there must be lots of questions. Oh, do yeah, you have yeah, questions, right. darling? Yeah, Instagram, um, sorry, Instagram, I'm <laughs> take some questions and then Shasha, I think is nearly ready. I'm um, Charlotte. Okay, great. Yeah, you know All right, yes, we'll take so, one question and then go and see how Charlotte's doing, yeah. AWF Hagen wants explanation on how the shade shot works. How the shade, how shot, shade works. shot works. Yes, okay. So basically, you mix I'll hold it up. That, you yeah. put the whole shade shot plus. So what's this, first of all, that's, tell me. That's a permanent hair colour, no ammonia, no PPD, okay. but it covers grey hair 100%. And you do it on your... So on the, your roots. Just on your roots? Yeah. Okay, so you... I mean, you, you can curve that. it through to the ends, but there are all the explanations on how you would use the product are online, or yeah. also there's a little explanation inside. But basically, inside you're here. matching to your colour here. Yes. Great, just want to know that, because yeah. we need something And then amazing. the shade shot plus... Tailor your tone, you add all of the Shade Shop Plus into your permanent hair yeah. colour and it adds a boost of tone. Oh. So this is smoky brunette, and that so that everything. would be anti-orange, yeah, anti-yellow, yeah, yeah. anti-green yeah. on, a, on a brunette. Fantastic. And yeah. you add that in with everything mask or on its No, nope, you add that into that and okay. it becomes permanent. All right. It's but, a permanent colour. Oh my god, this is... Okay, everything on the side but fantastic. All right, let's have Charlotte in. Um, because Shasha's going to show what she's done with Charlotte. Ooh, okay. Charlotte looks good. Shasha and Charlotte. Now, Charlotte, when you come in, everyone will want to look at your lovely makeup. No, so, thank you. so be aware, <laughs> darling, come yes. in. Be aware to go up to here and show it. And then those ladies on on uh, are on um, Facebook up right, there. Okay. So just yes. And Charlotte, you're going to take through what you've done, and I'm going to get a glass of water. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Um, breathe. Right. So on Charlotte, we yes. have done a neutral natural daytime eye. Which is, we went for wisdom mm -hmm. and faith. Beautiful combination. Again, thinking about the, nothing too cool. So wisdom is like really nice putty shade with sort of a caramel undertone, and like a cream caramel. You know that yeah. colour? It's a bit yeah. ochery underneath, yeah. um, which gives it that warmth that shines through. And then faith would be, it's not too warm a brown because I didn't want anything taking us into sort of coppery bronze. Um, so it works really well with the with the wisdom, and you can get a decent smoke out of that. Cheeks we kept with the Lady J, which I thought was the one that I showed as the good version. So it's that peachy apricotty, but again, not too terracotta. Yeah, it's so got a rosiness. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's got yeah, a rosiness yeah. behind it. Yeah. Um, and then actually, we had an experiment because a classic go-to for ours would probably be a Eugenie mouth. Yeah. But on Charlotte, that did have too much blue in it. So we went with Tashi. So you can see the difference. Yes. Can you see the difference? Yeah, we properly? can see the difference. Just for my Yeah, so this was really too yeah. blue. Yeah. 
Um, and we did a tashi with a maddie on top. Great. Then so we looked at reds. Do you want to see yes. the reds? Love to see. Can we see wrong and right? So a woman might say, yeah, which well, shade of red, I, red shade of red lip should I wear? And I think it's very interesting to be able to show the wrong and right. Should we show the wrong first? And uh, why well, it's wrong? I don't know, because you know I do vibe as well. I know you do so vibe, you see. Charlotte, for me, was more a classic. So the Swainy, which I thought, oh, could this sit nicely? To me, there was something that took it, not tacky, yeah, but, but there's too, something too brassy well, about yeah, this red yeah. mm -hmm. with the rest yeah. of Charlotte's complexion. The chicness of Charlotte. So I went with, <laughs> yeah, with the blue eye and the demon. You know that kills me. Yeah, that's So great. we've gone Fab. with demon. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. wonderful. That's right. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you, Charlotte, for coming in. Not really much. helpful. And should we just bring on the next model in whilst we're here? Because we want to do a different um, Thank skin you, item. Not and Manel. Manel, come I'm, on I'm in. Are leaving or am I staying? No. Huh? I'm staying for this. Stay, 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 stay. So let's just. What? Well, Charlotte, no, come. Not. Yeah, we've got too many people in the bath. We're going to do. We're going to do Chanel. You're going to do your <laughs> hair chat. So I'm going to do a hair chat. Can do a hair chat. Excellent. Okay, Josh. Describe the, the hair, wrong or right? Thanks, Joshua. Sure, sure. So, first of all, let's just look at this. Manel's interesting because yes. warm eyes. I want to go down a bit. Can everyone see her on Facebook? Because I just realised. Slightly realize... cooler skin tone, but is much better in warm. And that reflects on the skin tone than it would be if it was this greeny yellow. Hold on one second, Josh. We got camera I'm just doing technical details. Techno, perfect, because you're a little petite girl and I want to get you in, yes. So, so say that again. So She's when, the, when this reflects onto the skin tone, yeah. this kind of warmth is really good for Minel. Yeah. This kind of greeny yellow, Makes awful. Makes washed out, gets Dead. washed out, Gone. yes. Makes Which the tells skin you... tone look green. Okay, so she's She's warm. warm. That's, I want these in here to train <laughs> our girls in match to me, Shasha. Oh. <laughs> Shasha, these are amazing for match to me. So actually what we did um, on Manel's hair was ex the opposite combination to what I said for Trini. So it's the same base colour, uh, which is a light brown, no ammonia, no PPD, but then she's got chestnut brunette shade shop plus. So inside. she needs that warmth. She needs that she needs undertone that warmth. Yeah. of something rich and okay. glossy. Yeah. Otherwise your otherwise your skin is gonna be washed out. Yeah. And did you ever used to do that? Did you go too cool? Do you remember in your history of colouring your hair? I did, actually. I mean... It, you went too was, dark, I think, too, which looked cool. And it looked quite harsh. Yeah, it did. Yeah. yeah. And um, I think it's okay for me to say, I mean, she's got a few greys. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, good, that we've good. actually already covered up using yeah. um, using the tinted dry shampoo. Oh, we can show some more now, yes. Yeah. Okay. Should we, should we go to a bit? Uh, let's see. Come on. There's down. a little bit of oh, grey no, there. Yes, <laughs> of grey. Can you see a tiny bit of grey there? It's not much, darling, but just showing. And you're using what colour? I'm using a uh, dark, darker brown. Okay. Right in my nose. Mm. There you go, okay, when that dries in, no. greys are gone. Greys are gone. Greys are gone. Whoosh! Fantastic. All right, excellent. Now, Shasha, Shasha, yeah. darling, should we get in what we're going to do with Manel? I'm going to get out of the picture. Wonderful hair. And then we're going to, I mean, just, this is the hair that, like, your jeans, darling. When we talk about thinning <laughs> aging hair, it's like your jeans give you the amazing hair. So, Shasha, in you go. Come on, it's Shasha. very similar to um, to you, in a way, that warm. Like, a lot of women might look and think, oh, the, the hair is brown and the and the skin is a lightish caramel, but you must be cool. And it's like, how many people misdiagnose themselves as cool in these shades when they're warm? I think that's yeah. quite important. But we, we already had a chat about mm. that, didn't we? Mm. Because your hair has much less warmth than mine. So it's back to the, I think you can't really see it on camera, but there's blackness there and yeah. I've got much more red. Yeah. So it's the same sort of Analysis. Auntie Dickie issue. She's silver grey, yeah. you've got black. I'm. So I feel like your coolness of your hair tips you down from being the warmest of warm, so you can get away with crossover colours. Neutral. So yeah. we would call you a neutral at Trini London, but when it's, that's like an it's internal warm, thing. Yeah. It's a warm with a thermometer to yeah. it's like, yeah. yeah. It's and not what, a neutral. And it just sort of means for us, when you go on Trini London and you do match to me, you're just gonna be putting in the hair tone you'd put in here on this hair is dark brown. Because we darkest brown, darkest brown. Yeah, yeah. and the skin color you'd be putting in Shasha would be caramel dark with a brown eye, with a brown eye. and yeah. then we, you know, it's all Shasha's in her head. We call it Scarlet McCall because it's also on a computer, which then will show you all the colors that are in your palette. 
but when Shasha says you can wear a bit from cool and a bit from warm, you can, but you never go either end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, so, Shasha, what are you going to do today? We're going to do the same version of look, yeah. as in a daytime eye with a bit of depth, yeah. um, but we're going to concentrate on not bringing any more greyness yeah. around the eye, yeah. because um, we've already had a chat about that as well. So it's going to be lifting, warming, whilst popping, uh -huh. um, and then a good lip to cheek, but the thing would be to remember when, when you're shopping and when I'm shopping is, a neutral, as you look at it, on our skin won't look neutral it if you have grey yes. or chalky yeah. so it's like you need much more depth of colour to get a subtle result yeah. so we're going to be looking at that fantastic well. alright darling can't wait to see and okay. you'll be back with Shasha in about seven minutes seven minutes okay okay we're going to take a few more questions now I'm loving this I'm learning so much from you Josh I have to say and for those of you who've joined I'm here with Josh Wood probably I think the best hair colorist in London and goes around the world also educating people about color but he has the best at home kit that is on the market and um, it's uh, at Boots and I've used it and it's also got an ability for women who have got grey hair and thinking my hairdresser cost me so much money every month that you can take control and do it at home with confidence and you go on to joshwoodcolor.com and you look at the match my shade you can send in pictures so really helpful something we don't do yet is send in pictures but um, we have a more personalization mm -hmm. on our site than you and and you can get a diagnosis and know what what to choose but i think we'll take a few questions and then we might just talk about gray going yep. gray and things like that yeah okay would you recommend wearing no makeup when you're getting color done at the hairdresser to get the most honest like picture of your skin uh, that's yeah. an interesting well, yeah. But actually, no, I wouldn't. Would you not? No. Why? Because most people don't wear no makeup, so you need to you need to talk about your um, hair color in the context of the way that you wear makeup. And you know, most hairdressers, most colorists, you know, they're looking here, they're looking here mm -hmm. for your, what color you are. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's much better to go um to an, a hair appointment with a makeup look that you feel confident with that you a you can do b you, you you feel it looks good for you and and talk to the person that's helping you advising you with your hair color in that context yeah. i think no makeup it, it, it complicates unless, but unless you are a woman who doesn't wear any makeup i mean it's got i think what you're saying here josh I, is what you what your daily face is yes what totally. your daily face is yeah. yeah and i agree with you 100 percent because there are certain people who never walk out the door without any makeup yeah and there's certain people who will do that yeah. so but yeah. even like if you wear even if all you wear is a mascara a yeah. brown mascara or a black yeah. mascara it's important to have that on yes because a brown mascara would you'd need something different with hair than if you were wearing a black, a, a, mascara. A black mascara? That's very true. Okay. Yep. Great. Next question. Um, how long do toners last? Yes. How long do? Toners um, all depends on your hair. Unfortunately, no straightforward answer apart from whatever it says on the packet. I mean, most toners should last about six weeks. Everything to do with how often you wash it as it's well? No, mm, sometimes it's more to do with how porous your hair is. Oh, okay. So the more porous your hair is, it sucks the product in and it's a bit like a sponge leaks out when, yeah. you, when you wash. I'm very Up poor. to six weeks. But for somebody like you, probably two weeks, two weeks depending how often you shampoo your hair. I think that's right. All right, should we take a question from Instagram? Um, yeah, next question. Hair texture has totally changed now I've gone grey. Oh, yeah. this is such Tell a... Tell me about it. Yeah, so this has a this has a bearing really on what colour you're going to become because wiriness can set in. You well, know? I, think it, I think the minute you start to lose the melanin, which is the colour of the hair, the pigment of the hair, the hair becomes more brittle. Uh, Grey hair just looks more, it's transparent. Yeah. So it doesn't have that richness of body. Um, I really wish there was a, an easy answer. Conditioners, yeah. a, a mask oh. once a week. I have something called the everything mask. It's called that because it's got everything in it. Uh, find the time to do it. I don't care whether you put it on if you're going to the gym, you're watching the telly, you're baking. I don't care whether it goes on wet hair, dry hair. It's so important yeah. to use a very nourishing treatment once a week. It would yeah. be like saying that you're never going to wear uh, any moisturiser. Yeah. I, I think it's the same yeah. way. But dare I say it, <coughs> and I think Trini, you'll agree, really if your hair's brittle and frizzy, a brilliant blow dry. I think a brilliant blow dry. Some women will only get the hairdresser when they have their colour done. Yeah, but I think some people are really good at doing it themselves. But they do it themselves, and I think there's 
I've done a few techniques with Greg, who yeah. is at Josh Wood, of just about how you really follow the hair cuticles to get that yeah. shine in. So the more you're blow drying, where you're not just going up, but you're really, really following smoothing. the hair cuticle, smoothing around, you're not using a metal round brush, you're yeah. using a bristle one, because that really weirdly helps the shine. And I think using like split end products, like yeah. I love all base split end yeah, yeah. products. There are certain products that are even more important. And I have to say, uh, I, as a 50 year old woman with very, very gray hair, but always getting it colored. The reason I think my condition is good is I have used, every time I wash my hair, a mask. I use yours or Kerastase yeah. and I alternate. And twice a week, I will always use that because I wash my hair twice a week. Yeah. But just, I think um, it's nourishment. I agree with you, always trying yeah. to nourish your hair. Yeah. Okay, next question, Lily. Lily. Um, will you be expanding your shade range? Oh. Yes. Yes. Um, what are you not covering right now, do you think? Come on, get it out. We've, 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 we're very thin on the ground for redheads. Yeah. Uh, red's a really difficult hair colour to, yeah. to really crack. I only ever want to produce hair colours that are really natural, really conditioning, really glossy and shiny. I'm working on reds. We've just added um, um, black into the range. Yeah. Um, I wanted a black that still was very believable, not really heavy and sooty. Oh, and, mm. yeah. um, we will have more blondes. Uh, again, I'm working on blondes right. that will be completely safe Perfect. to use. And expanding, get, get, expanding, get great expanding. Results. expanding. Excellent. Um, yeah. Can I get your products internationally? Yes. Ship worldwide. Yeah. Amazing. Um, okay, are you happy with like, people specific questions as well. We can yeah. do a few. Are there any more general or have we got a lot of people specific? Um, we've got Lauren White, Kim Brown Eye, Pale Skin Colour, Rock Blonde Hair. Listen, I'm a great believer there's a blonde in everybody. It just has to be exactly the right tone and you've got to be open for the maintenance. Okay. Because if, you, if you've got very dark hair and you want to go very blonde, you're going to have a very, very long, interesting relationship with your hairdresser. Can I, I mean, I find that really interesting when you say there's a blonde in everyone, because what we say is there's, there's a red, a red hair in everybody. everybody. Yeah, so, so it's like, it, I, and I believe that through our colour journey, so I believe there's a blue clothing-wise for everyone. Yes. There's a red, even though I never wear red dresses, there's a red for everyone because I wear this weird, blushy, peachy, yep. pinky red. So it's interesting, the exactly the same applies to hair. Totally. Yeah, apart from black and white. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't say there's a black piece of clothing for everyone, you see, because I think some people really yeah. washes them out. No, I agree. And those with aren't that. colours. Or, or, you know, although I think if somebody wears black clothing and they have a necklace that's in like a sort it's of stick, it's often. It's often. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a blonde. There's a blonde in everyone. All right. You just have to really make sure that you've got exactly the right tone. And actually, the lighter you go, probably the more important the tone is. As you saw, as you saw in Charlotte. Um, it would have been actually good. Maybe we'll act, well, I can put on, on our site a before and after of Charlotte because her hair was so yellowy orange. It just, it, it didn't look like her. Yeah. And when we've cracked that right, that really soft champagne blonde tone, you know, especially adding colour cosmetic, it really brought her alive. Fantastic. I have to ask how long we've been on because Instagram will cut us off after that amount of time. How long have we been on? We have been on... 35 minutes? Um, yeah, that Okay, great. Yeah. Perfect. Shasha. Yeah, we're Okay, well, you, I mean, you need rush, but we could bring Shall you Shall we do another question? Another... Okay, we'll do another question, yes. Um, what percentage of grey should you have before going grey and taking the Interesting. plunge? Interesting. Does it have to be over 30%? Ooh. Before doing what, sorry? Well, before you take the plunge. So how to much grey do you have to have before you decide I should be colouring my grey? It's a really interesting question. It's very personal. Some no, people... I think it's before actually going grey. Ah, like... like oh, so this is that decision to grow, grow, go grey. Yeah. Okay. Right, so it's a very interesting topic because although I'm known to colouring hair, I I've turned a lot of people grey as well. Yeah, can we talk about this? Yes, I think. Um, Actually, you know, I'm going to save it for when... Yeah. Oh, she's been showing you. Yes, let's have it now. You know, like there's a blonde for everyone, you can't generalise as much because I think grey is a very difficult colour to wear. Yeah. I always say for my clients that want to start to um, kind of adopt, l l live with some grey, it's it's not about a percentage. Come back a little bit. It's not about a ten percent or a thirty percent or a fifty percent. Yeah. It's about creating a style and a and a mood. Yeah. It could be like one streak of grey, or it could be a smattering of grey, or you could be as you know you you know all over grey. Yeah. The one thing to remember is it's not about stopping colouring your hair and going grey. It's about colouring your hair a different way. You see. Then what's interesting is the women who feel I'll go grey because then I won't have to have so much 
maintenance, yeah. there is a period of time when the maintenance might be as much, if not more, to get for to a year. Oh, it's hell. So it's hell. No pain, okay. no gain. No pain, Especially no gain. if you're brown. All Different right. if you're blonde. All right. So but how I, long is that? How long is that? Depends how quickly your hair grows and who who's helping you. Okay. I mean, I've I've just. Uh, turn Krista D'Souza. Yeah, I don't know if anyone read the Daily Mail where Krista D'Souza, who's always had this, this masses, masses of, of kind of brunette yeah. warm, and I've always said cut a bit off the bottom because it's yeah. a rat taily, but anyway, she's, you know, somebody who's been so attached to yeah. their hair and hidden behind their hair, yeah. um, you know, and she'll admit herself just, it, it's been a kind of protective mask, um, but was fed up with colouring. So, that process, when I read that article, I don't know if you read it, ladies, I thought, my God, that's a whoppingly large process. But how does that evolve out if you make you that probably need to You probably need to see somebody to cut, to start the grey transition from a brunette. You probably need to do it once every three to four weeks. Yeah. For about, I'd say, four or five times. So what, if, what would you be doing? So if I came up to you and I said I have 50% grey So I'd front, start by here yeah. and make all of that as grey as I could possibly get it to start oh, with you? against your skin tone okay. and start to kind of blend it in a little bit at the back. Oh. So actually if you were to tie it back or against your skin, there'd be a real softness. So then if I was doing that, you it would there'd all... There'd be no root. There'd be no root. Yeah. So that's interesting, just that. So simple, Josh, when you say it, but my God, had I not thought about it. Okay. And and let, then... me let me just say, so you go through the hell part, which is kind of where you'll, you'll have a demarcation. You'll have brown on the ends and a bit of grey. And root, then are and you, you pulling grey through? through it. You're pulling yeah. grey through. How much are you pulling through? Depends the thickness of the hair, okay. the skin tone. Yeah. It's about getting that uh, uh, the right balance. But when you've kind of got rid of the brunette, and you are um, effectively more grey, you probably have to colour your hair three times a year. And it would be just, it'd be like just to put the odd bright streak in there so it doesn't look flat and, and, and down. Yeah. I want up colours, not yeah. down yeah. colours. Yeah. So going grey, I'm a great believer in it. If that's what, if it's going to suit you, if it's what you want to do, the bit of pain in the beginning, but it's not, I have to emphasize, it's not about kind of growing out your color and you're going to be completely natural. Because yeah. I tend to find there are very, very few natural gray haired people that don't need a little bit of a helping yeah. hand. And I could just categorize that for you because I think I've seen so many in my days of making over women. If you sit in the warm family, you're going to go this foxy, like the end of a foxtail grey. And that's the colour, I think, which is very washing out for any skin tone. If you were in the very, very cool family, you could be going that most beautiful salt and pepper, pepper grey, which you see best on men, actually, because we see more grey hair on men. But when I see it on a woman, very few women, but I see that fabulous contrast. And um, they could have had black hair mm -hmm. and, and then come through like that. And then there's people sitting in the middle. But... Um, Anyway, I hope that's covered. Let's go back, Shasha, and we can then take questions on that. So if you've got some questions building up from that, Shasha, darling, come on in. I'm going to go to, you, you come in here. Excellent. Oh, there we go. Now I'm going to just turn that uh, camera so that we can see you better, my love. And Shasha talking. One second. There we go. Let me just see, can we, are you there in the frame? Yes, you are. Great, Shasha. Will you show colours too in the frame, yep. my darling? Excellent. So what have you, so just to remind any audience who's joined, your skin, hair and eye, you're working on? We are working on, um, Mindanao is a dark caramel. She wears a live, just a touch, with a brown eye and it's like a cool dark brown hair. Yeah. Would you okay. describe it? Cool dark brown. I, I mean, it's interesting. I think what you were saying before about the tone, it's actually, it's it, underneath it's rich and warm, mm. but it's not red. Yeah. 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 So it's that, comb it's that okay. unique combination of something that's rich, lustrous and warm, but, it, it, but there's no red the to it. Or, or, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's what takes it, my non-hairdresser eyes looking at it, I see the coolness. Yes. Or, yeah. or I see the non-warmth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. That's good to remember, yeah, it is. actually. Yeah. yeah, okay. This is good for us. We could learn a lot from you, Josh, in terms of that continual analysis we'll around it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, eyes wise, we've taken it's interesting because we worked with two very different ladies today. So, whereas Charlotte's, she got her depth and her smoke from the faith with the wisdom, it's actually Minel's base colour. So, we did a wash of that over her eye. We didn't want to bring anything to. Things like magician, you can see this is just an iciness and a coldness. This is just gonna, it's gonna drain her face, but also make more of a dark circle that we're trying to get rid of. Yeah. So it's yeah. thinking about things like that that you're sort of and fighting exactly against as well. That's exactly what we were saying about the undertone of the hair. <clears throat> yes. If it was grey yeah. or flat, yeah. it would drain right. and bring everything out. So that's why the richness and okay. warmth is underneath. 
Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, so you've done cool. exactly that on exactly makeup the without knowing what you're doing. Yes, <laughs> yes. We okay. love this, it's all coming okay. together yeah, in the bathroom. I know what I'm talking about. Um, and then mm. we hit the top up of the faith with the Empress because that has the gold, it has amber flecks, it has copper, it has bronze. So that just really lifted her eye. But what I like about that is when Renelle's eyes are moving around, there's warm light yeah. on top of them, which I feel attracts your eye and takes away from the darkness that's underneath. Yeah. So if we sort of counterbalance that. I think that's what I need. <laughs> then we need BFFI. We need BFFI for you. Then, BFFI, 19th of February. Good old. Good BB. Old, yeah. So we need more terracotta here than we need on Charlotte. Yeah. So we've gone warmer with the, the lip to cheek in VB. Also, obviously, Sasha would work. Yes. And then we have actually hit it up with a bit of Shasha on top, which I think I've dropped on the floor. But a, for me, a no-go, even though it seems convincing. Once um, Phoebe lip to cheek is on, there's a blueness underneath yes. that. I never wear it, and I feel like it wouldn't yes, be good on Manel either. Yes, it's too cool. So it's that family rather than that family. Yeah. And then we went for... Manel could do Tashi on the cheek but there's a slight more pinkiness in the Sasha, mm -hmm. so it is a really good nude for her, and we've topped that up with the Thea Gorgeous. to take down the peachiness. Fantastic. Lovely makeup, Shasha. And if, yeah, if, 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 looks nice. if she's wearing a bright, oh, bright, bright. Yeah, wrong and right bright, or, yeah. I did this and it killed me. Mm. Yeah, so, so cool, Pookie. <laughs> I was like, oh, disgusting. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> for me, it's this. Oh, for me, it's this way. Yeah. Gorgeous. All day long. Gorgeous, really gorgeous. Oh, good off. Shasha, thank you so much. Thank you. That's really, really no, helped. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Manel, thank you very thank much, you very darling. Much. And um, Shasha's going to get you through the little. Oh, no. Thank you, Shasha. Yeah, I'm going to write the list. I think that there's a, a further yeah, Shasha yeah, Joss conversation, even be. not live, but just there's so much we're both learning on different aspects of this, I think, just mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, the key to the future of helping women online is to offer the best personalization yeah. so that they can do that. So we want to do that more. We're gonna take a few last questions and then we'll be signing off. So last burning desire questions, please. Okay, how do you decide to go from semi-permanent color to permanent Ooh, color? Oh, yes, how do you decide that, Josh? I think um, if you are, if we're talking about gray hair mm -hmm. and you're using a semi-permanent just to blend in the odd gray and it's not covering or it's not lasting, or you're seeing grey, it could be the moment to step into permanent. If you're colouring hair with no grey hair, but you want to alter the tone of the hair and you're use using a semi-permanent, if you find a colour that you really love, I'd go the, go the whole way, otherwise you you're just colouring too often. You are, aren't you? Okay. And people who are scared of making a strong line? Well, you only get a strong line if, if you're grey. Oh, okay. yeah. You know, if there's no yeah. grey, there's no strong there's line. No strong and line. unfortunately, you know, I love hair that is not densely saturated. That's why, you know, you have to work very hard on my colours to make them really believable. Yeah. But if you don't want to see any grey hair at all, unfortunately, strong line. Strong line. Okay, great. All right. Have you got a question, Instagram question? Uh, Sarah Kellamy, dyed my hair light brown all over, but it's always lighter on the ends. Why can't I get the same colour throughout? Porousness? Um, porous, but also hair texture if your hair's fine. Um, and, and also as well, um, hair is generally, depends how long your hair is, I mean, the, mm. you know, if it's this long, that piece of hair has been on your head for like four years, yeah. so it'll have been washed a million yeah. times. Um, the only thing I can say is a little trick that I do is it's called pre-filling. I put a quick colour on the ends of the hair actually before I colour it, so you've already got a base to work on. So would you put a bit of that power shot on? No, 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 no. you just either like put a bit of normal colour on the ends yeah. first, just to kind of give it give it a body to hold on to all And then go But yeah, way. ends yeah. generally stay lighter yeah. because it's older hair, porosity, yeah. and, and sometimes hair just doesn't take that well on the ends when it's, it's yeah. older hair. And can I just say, I find, I veer, because sometimes when my hair is most consistent going down, I feel it looks wet, it looks its, its wellest. Yes. But sometimes having the light on the end, I think as you get older, it's can soften softer. And, and, and make your eye colour brighter. Yeah. So there is something to be said for letting that stay light, but maybe also you just need a really good mask. So the lightness on the ends actually looks healthier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everything mask from Just Wood. It's one of my favourite. Okay. Yes. Best next. Shampoos for dyed hair. What shampoos? Yes. Yeah. Shampoos. Oh, well. Um, I mean, could I've... you ever talk about any other than your own? Can I just ask something? Because this is here. Like, you all know I never. 
do endorsements or anything and I only have people in the bathroom I love so we're obviously going to talk about Josh's range because it is brilliant but yeah, I mean I've formulated shampoos specifically for blondes and brunettes okay. and they're bloody brilliant all right but also as well you know you you know Redken is a really amazing professional product yeah uh, you know there's, there's some really um, from thin thinning hair through tonal shampoos and conditioners it's a very comprehensive range yeah. of professional products that I think um, are some of the best yeah I think your price point is excellent because it's not so cheap that I discount its believability. Yeah. But it sits in boots in a if you don't buy online, it sits in boots. And I think for one, I, they're like sixteen um, yeah. pounds. And 15. how much is the mask? Uh, uh, the, uh, mark, the mask is fifteen. It's fifteen. Yeah, and the shampoo is ten. Yeah, so they're kind of a good price. It's not L'Oreal Elvastas four ninety nine a bottle stuff. Um, and if one was doing really expensive, I think there aren't many really expensive ranges like Rita Hazan in New York a colour shampoo, but they're like $40. I mean, you know, I think it's interesting your price point, it's a very good price point. Okay, yes, next. How do you get rid of product buildup on your scalp? Oh, yeah. well, that's a really good one. Yeah. Good old scrub. Good old scrub. I mean, I, I, you know, as, as I said before, there's a, there's a, um, uh, there's a shampoo from uh, Redken, what's it called, Paul? What's the shampoo that I like from Red? You know the mice, the, the mice, or what? It the, takes out the clean maniac. Clean maniac. That's it, Paul. Clean maniac. Clean maniac, okay. and that you know, really find a product that's going to detox um, your hair and your Is scalp. It I think it? it's a good. It is a little bit, yeah. but gently. I think yeah. it's a good thing to do. It's okay. like, would you not? Would you? It's an exfoliate? acid toner. It's a strong acid toner. Yeah. It's like probably deep clean. Yeah, it's probably like taking Biology Recharge AP50 as opposed to Pixie Wood Gentle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay. how often would you do the deep? Mm. I again it's very specific I think if you've got really fine hair and you're blonde I'd do it probably a bit more often like what's that because once a week once a week okay. well because actually you want the hair to feel weightless and you want it to look light yeah so that kind of deep cleanse really gives okay. you that aerated so it could for be you, every two I, or three shampoos you're saying yeah I mean for you I'd probably do it right before you have your hair coloured because yeah, it'll just idea. give you the it, it can give you a really clean base to start yeah. from. That's very good. Imagine then you're going to do a lovely hydrating mask. You need to put the exfoliating product on before for the mask to penetrate. Yes. Thinking of it that way. Like that thought process. Yes. Do you have any um any tips for dyeing afro hair that's been relaxed at home? Mm. Ah. So if you've got straightened hair, you've got to be a little bit careful. You need to be looking at ingredient lists on on colour products. There are, it will generally say, um, if your hair is permanently straightened or relaxed, don't use this product. As okay. I say, mine, no, no PPD and uh, no ammonia. Very safe, very So you're good for afro hair? Yes. Great, good for every hair. Okay, we're going to take two more questions. So the most burning desire, we'll have one from you and one from you, darling. Um, I think, what can we do in the summer with the sea throwing cool sun to protect our hair colour? Yeah. Um, condition, condition, condition. Tie it up swimming caps. I mean, I see in September, I spend most of my September kind of fixing what people have done during the their summer pool. holidays. Yeah. Tinge of green, brittle like you can't get a brush through it, yeah. um, can be some disaster. So yeah. yeah, you know, if you're out in the sun or you're swimming, put conditioner on it mm. when, when you're out there. A lot of people say to me, oh, but I don't want my hair to look wet. I, yeah. I hate it looking gloopy and wet. Yeah. Um, you know, so I think you, you can tie it back tight. Just yeah. get the hair away from the elements and out of those yeah. environments, especially if you're blonde. I mean, for you, yeah. it's a nightmare because you've got that greeny... I, I mean, weird... I would say for me, I'm at an age where my hair tightly tied back yeah. doesn't suit me like yeah. it used to. So to be really honest, because I don't want my face in the sun, I wear a hat and yeah. I put it inside my hat and I let the hat softly frame my face. And I'll do that and I don't actually go in the sun in this part of my body, so that's fine. But if you're swimming and stuff, I wear a really tight swimming cap. Um, and I just make sure that I have, you know, I kind of will put the split ends product yeah. through. I'll put a few things through. There was something I used this summer that I really loved on my hair, which has gone on, which was weightless. But if I remember, I'll put it on the bottom. Okay, last question from you, darling. Also seasonal. Um, can I change my tone up during different seasons? Yes, totally. Just like makeup. As long as you stay within the same family that you are, you know, if you're cool, experiment with different cool tones. If you're warm, experiment with different warm tones. I'm a really great believer in switching the hair up a little bit. I think when we, when we get a colour and we keep repeating it, and we repeat it all our lives, it doesn't fit, it doesn't look, yeah. it just doesn't suit. Yeah. I think tiny little tweaks, a little bit of a warm rosé rinse or something yeah. in the 
in the uh, if winter, yeah. Yeah. if it's that's yeah. your color, if that's your color yeah. world. Um, but yeah, and yeah. I also think experimenting and just trying little different things, that's the way to stay modern. Okay, so Shasha, come in darling, just want to say, what, and we're rounding up now, but um, thank you Shasha, Hi. and Shasha does live with Shasha on Tuesday at one o'clock on Trini London, so if you have any specific makeup questions, then please get them ready, you can send them early on Instagram DM, and then Lulu will ask Shasha those questions, and we do swatchings and everything, so that's on Tuesday, yep. yes, lovely, so we'll see Shasha then, one o'clock, bye. bye darling, and Josh, I can't thank you no, thank enough. You. You. for coming in the bathroom because I think we've all learned so much I think you, he does he need to come back I mean and tell, talk more oh my god the video ended oh he and that one ended so I'm just gonna save that now because we've been long too long on Instagram but that's fine I'm gonna save that and I'm going to at least I thanked you that's great was that saved let me just check that was saved yes it was okay and ladies on Facebook hello so um I'm sure uh, would we like Josh back to discuss more? I think there's lots of going to be heart things and I think that would be a great thing to do. And um, just to remind you of, of if you've joined halfway through, so joshwoodcolor.com, you can upload a photograph to match my shade. And if you're thinking to yourself, am I wearing the wrong hair color? Is it something that now wears me? Have I rethought my routine recently? Should I be rethinking my routine? And is the hairdresser costing me so much money that I really like to take control and do it at home? So that's why I love his products. I'm gonna just show you if you're in boots, give me a big pot of something, a big, yeah. So that's what they look like. All right, easy to see. I just have to promote the fuck out of them, excuse my French, because they're brilliant. And, and there hasn't been something like it until Josh came along. So very happy that he's here and um, that he managed to spend time to come bathroom because this man is very, very all over the world. And even though Josh is, I won't call you celebrity ha hairdresser because no, that's so minimalist, but even though Josh, you've done so many women, you know real women better than any other um, hairdresser who's got a name because I think you spend your life, especially with your, your new business, this new element of your business, in, you know, like me, the women on your side are just real women, all yeah. different ages, all have yeah. another thing, you know, their mums, their grandmothers, whatever, but they're mainly dealing with how do I deal with the grey in my yeah. life and how do I feel good and look great and how do I not let it get to me whichever path I choose to go. And it really matters to me that people get exactly the right hair colour for them. Oh, that's how we love you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for coming in the bathroom. Thank you Josh, for having Very me. much. And thank you for watching. Josh will be here for another 15 minutes yeah. and he's going to answer as many questions as he can with Lulu. So write down some questions and if you ask questions later about um, which hair colour you should be, we won't be able to answer them with Josh here. But if you go on to Joshwood, um, colour.com and you go to match my shade and send a picture he can tell you and you can get things for it okay bye Thank you.